Hello everyone! With the current situation, lots of schools are starting to use Teams to share home learning and host video lessons. To access Teams though, you need to know how to use Glow. Most schools in Scotland have access to Glow, but please don't contact your school to find out if you're using it. If you are using it, your school will contact you with your login details. This video will focus on how to set up your Glow and my next video will focus on how to use Teams. I hope it helps. The first thing that you need to do is go to glow.rmunify.com and put in your username and password. If this is the first time you've ever logged into Glow, you'll need to select your year group. You can press Ask Me Later, but it's best to do it now. Be very careful, make sure you get the right year group, as otherwise you'll need to ask one of your teachers to unlock it for you. You may be asked to accept cookies, do accept them, and then launch RM Unify. It will take you to a big page filled with apps, um, but these are actually the school apps. What you want to do is click on your launchpad, this one over here. Now you'll notice it's pretty empty. For now, there are a couple of key apps that you should really be adding to your launch pad. Um, the three that I want to bring your attention to are Outlook, which gives you your emails. You just click on it, press add to my launch pad. Also go to Teams. This will be really important as most teachers are using Teams. Add to my launch pad. And finally, OneDrive. OneDrive is like Dropbox or it's like a memory stick except it's online. You can store lots of work on OneDrive um, and you can access it on different devices. So after you've done that come out of the app li library back into your launch pad and you'll see that you've got these three things set up. Now I'm going to click on mail first of all to open it. There will be a couple of settings you need to adjust. You need to make sure that it's English, United Kingdom, and you want to choose the right time, which is UTC and it's zero. And you'll see it here, UTC 00 Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, London. That's just our time zone. So it gives you the right time on the clock. And that will take you to your email inbox where you're able to send emails to um, teachers in your school and fellow classmates. Please remember when you're sending emails that the council can monitor it and will monitor it. If you send anything that's rude or offensive or cyberbullying, the council will flag it up and send it to your school and you could face disciplinary action. So be very careful. Make sure you stick to, um, to good online safety rules. Next up is Microsoft OneDrive. OneDrive, as I said earlier, is just an online file saving area, if you like. You can store and share your files from OneDrive. It'll set up, just go through the process as it asks you to. Click when it's ready. And then you can drag and drop files from your computer into here and they save on the cloud. You can then, anywhere that you can log on to Glow, you can access your files. And finally, Microsoft Teams. This is going to be probably the biggest thing for learning at home while we're going through the COVID virus at the moment. If your teacher has added you to a team, it will appear here in your Teams. Otherwise, your teacher might have sent you a code to join in with the class team, in which case you just put it in here. You're not able to create your own Teams, I'm afraid. Um, but the teacher will set you up. Some of you will already have one. Now one thing that you'll notice when I signed in for the first time, the password didn't actually ask me to change it. So if your teacher sets you a password, they will have the option to press that you have to change your password or they might not click it. If you want to change your password at any time, go over to your name in the top right hand corner and click change password. Very, very easy to do. And a very good thing to do as well, please make sure that you keep your password secure, you don't write it down and leave it anywhere. If you want someone to know it, make sure it's one trusted adult 
um, that normally monitors your internet use. Otherwise, don't let other people know your password. So that's it for this tutorial on learning how to set up your Glow. My next video is going to be on using Microsoft Teams, and that is going to be something that's really important as we go on with our remote learning. A lot of schools and a lot of teachers, a lot of classes are going to be using Microsoft Teams. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you and hopefully you feel a bit more confident in setting up your Glow. Stay safe and see you in the next video.